Hi guys, as we can see, this is a weekly chart for support and resistance band. This is a very, very important chart for us right now. One thing I've been noticing here clearly is that we are lacking volume for a very long time, especially on the weekly time frames. This is a massive concern in the market. You can clearly see that too. We had a lot of volume in previous instances, but now we aren't seeing that sort of volume. There, is, there could be a lot of factors for this, but mainly I think that the retail is probably booking profits very, very quickly. And we don't have big amount of money coming into Bitcoin, though we know there's news about Russia accepting Bitcoin as gas payments. But then there's no official news about it. It's just that he said it either, you know, it's like the last option that if they don't want to use in Indian rupees, rubles or yen or Turkish lira, then this is the last option they're going to be using. But the market just became so full of fun about this news that everybody's now forming into the markets and we have to be very cautious there because it could be a massive bull trap right now we've seen that we, we've been into 45,000 ranges before as well but we have failed to go above that and if we look at the volume from previous instances now we even have less volume than that so this is going to be a very very interesting sign I urge everybody to be very very careful about this because I'm also monitoring this myself now if we look at the crypto greed and fear index we can clearly see the index on 47 and that's what we were expecting it to do and even if we get into three months we can now have that big upside coming like we had here we had here so this is going to be a very very interesting sign for us now we can get into our crypto bubbles if we get into bubbles obviously the clear winner has to be axs axs performed really really well axs up about 20 percent in a day from 60 dollars about 73 dollars and if you look at the week chart as well from 48 dollars to 73 dollars that is a massive big upside even if we get into one hour time frames we can see from 71 dollars it's now going to 74 dollars we do know there's going to be a lot of events coming for axs their mobile app is going to be launching this year and a lot more things are also happening on their systems so we can expect a lot more upside to be coming in axs solana also performed really well in the last 24 hours went about from 102 dollars to 103 dollars even went down to 100 dollars to retest itself but overall from 97 dollars to 105 dollars and even if you look into weekly time frames from 84 dollars to almost 104 dollars which is a very very good sign and in solana it could still be a, a lower high but we still have to be very very cautious here because we haven't seen massive upside coming in solana yet so we just have to monitor that then if you look into rune as well in the last 24 hours has gone down slightly but it's still all right but in the hour time frame it's beginning to pump again so looks all right we would ideally want it to break its resistance that we are discussing on our charts so once we do that we can be very very certain that now we are getting into some kind of bullish momentum in rune as well now let's get into our crypto and see what is happening here juventus is going to be starting in about 53 minutes so you have to ape into this one then we have ratio finance starting in about two days three minutes and everything else is going to be starting very very late now if we look into the gains for today we can clearly see that wizard is about 238 percent i told you guys this coin has a very high chance to perform really well celestia is also up about 255 percent I told you guys for that one too that it is possible. Constellation is up about 63%. So that was pretty, pretty expected because there's so many Web3 tokens are issued right now. Some are going to pump pretty bad and some are going to be just sideways and not the kind of 2000, 1000% we are used to lately. So overall, the newly listed looks pretty, pretty good. Nothing special happening here now. Even if you get into startup, we have few startups coming that I've discussed again that Animal Concert is coming. We have Mecha Morphine Map. And then we also have Gamemium. So you have to be waiting for this and aping into this is very important. This good time left in them, about three days. So you're going to be very, very interested in them as well. And you, if you want to get to in them, all you have to do is click in the link given in the description below and join gate.io with my referral code. You'll also get rewards and airdrops in that. So I'm sure you're definitely going to be very, very happy with that. Now we look into big data. We can clearly see big data today is pretty much normal. We're back into normal levels, especially when it comes to greed and fear index. Now if we look into the most important thing right now, are we in short positions right now or long positions? So overall, we can see that the global data is pretty much in short positions. People aren't really feeling bullish right now. So we can expect market to have some kind of weak liquidation wicks coming as well. And even in our block trades, we are looking very, very short right now, even though it is about 52 percent but overall the sentiment in the market is very very confusing right now even if we look into liquidation data we can clearly see not much liquidations going on for the past few days now so that is a very very good sign for us right now that we are still pretty sideways in these ranges and then if we look into short liquidations long liquidations we can clearly see that everything is pretty pretty much you know longs are also getting liquidated and shorts are also getting liquidated but the percentage of them is very very small right now so we just have to monitor this and be very very careful now if you look into long and short uh, 
uh, ratio, we can clearly see that people are getting bearish again, even on gate, even yesterday they were quite bearish and even now they're very bearish. And in quarterly on Binance also, they're getting very bearish on OKX. Everything looks quite, quite bearish right now. So overall, we can still say we are even Stevens, but the sentiment right now is slowly, slowly turning into people feeling a lot more uh, bearish right now than compared to bullish so that's going to be a very very important sign for us and have to monitor that because we know we have to break above forty five thousand before we feel like that okay though now the market is going to be having what we want it to have and now we can expect some kind of an upside rally coming because everybody knows that forty seven thousand all coins are going to rally they always rally massively so that is something i'm going to be really really watching right now now we can get into our news so we get into our news first news that we've been discussing russia is the number one natural gas exporter in the world and they are going to be expecting Bitcoin, but this is like the last option that they have discussed. It's not like the first option, how some people are feeling very, very bullish about it. Then the other problem is most of the countries don't have Bitcoin as a legal tender. So even if they are going to be accepting, I don't think other than El Salvador, any company can pay for it legally right now. So there's so much part right now regarding that. If you really think about it and you understand geopolitics, macro and microeconomics, these two things really matter right now in the markets because uh, you can write anything in a headline, but whether it's going to be fulfilled or not, I'm not really sure. The other big news we have today is that is bringing part as well in the market right now. China COVID-19 cases in Shanghai hit record high despite restrictions. And this is also making the market stumble right now in Asia. And even the Chinese stocks that were pumping earlier this week tumbling right now in the markets. And we can clearly see the signs here. So this is another big reason for us to be very, very watchful right now in these markets. We can't expect anything big to be happening just like that. We need some kind of sentiments. We need some kind of logic, some kind of reasoning for to believe that massive upside is coming now in the market. So now we should get into our charts and see what we can expect today. We should start with ETC and ETH. So I think overall, even if we look at the sentiments here, we can clearly see the market is very, very bullish. But then the, the reasoning behind everything is not being pretty logical right now. So we just have to be monitoring and be careful. We don't want to get into positions and then regret. If we get into USDT data, we can clearly see on the weekly time frames it is coming down, but we want it to dump and not just come down. If we get into four hours, we can clearly see that even on four hours, it's slowly, slowly now building support that it did here as well. So ideally, we want it to come back down to 3.69, and that would be a very, very good place for us to feel like okay, now we're becoming very, very bullish. Overall, if we look at each dominance, each dominance is also pretty sideways right now. The only good sign for us right now in the market is that the other's dominance is getting very, very close to the regions we discussed, and it's almost within the range. Hopefully, we do get into that range because that range is going to be very, very important for us to feel very, very bullish in the market and all coins to rally and feel like an old season is beginning to start. If we get now into BTC's chart, we can clearly see we are following a good uptrend right now. Looks pretty good in four hourly. We are still in these zones. So we have spent in time in these zones in previous past as well. But ideally, we are lacking some serious volume. We haven't seen massive volume coming in that we saw here as well. And now we don't really see that kind of volume coming. So ideally, we want to have volume. Volume is very important, especially when you're in downtrends and you're willing to break out. Because if you want to break out, you need to have volume to you know back that sentiment that now we are going to be breaking out. Overall, if we look at ETH as well, ETH is looking all right, pretty good, just facing some kind of rejection and we need some kind of pullback also to be coming in the market. Market had been pumping all day and all night. Now we can get into AXS as well. AXS looks beautifully. We give you two entries and now even if you took one of the entries, we almost went all the way to $74.85. So or about $75. So looks pretty, pretty good. Even if you took an entry at 65, that's already about $10. And even if you took an entry here from $58, that is already a very good upside for you overall we still can expect it to come down into some regions here and some kind of pullback or correction is possible but ax tends to go pretty high when it starts pumping and the sentiment obviously of this mobile app coming out is going to be very very bullish for everybody especially who is interested in it and likes to play into it and then if you look into ar as well ar is looking pretty good as well it's been pretty sideways within this range we did go up we faced rejection at 34 dollars and now we are still back into 33 to 32 dollars Range, we are just range bound right now in this, so we just have to monitor and be very, very careful. Now we get to ADA as well. ADA faced massive rejection, and now it's just been pretty sideways. We can hope it does come back to make this into a support level. Once it do that, then we can feel bullish, but we don't want it to dump pretty bad. That that's gonna be pretty bad for ADA lovers. It just pumped recently, and now it's it's gonna be in a very strong pullback. I'm sure they're not really gonna be enjoying this. Then if we get into Solana as well, we can see Solana is in a very good place in FIP channels. So we can expect it to go to the ranges of about $113. We discussed about $115 yesterday as well. We would ideally want that range to come. Even if you look into the THR, we are expecting Solana to come back into some levels like this. We did take an entry after the breakout. 
obviously our resistance is also at 115 dollars exactly at the fib levels so we would expect some kind of upside to be coming here but again the volume came in and then now profit taking has already started so we would ideally want some kind of profit taking to stop and probably people to invest more and more money into layers right now that's going to be a very bad sign for us and overall we also know that biden is going to be going to poland today and today is the 25th so we can expect some kind of volatility to be coming in the market as well now we look into atom atom is just in range bound had gone up but now it's coming back down so we can expect some move to be coming in atom soon as well because uh, it is lacking volume but it looks better than some other coins so we can expect some big move to be coming in atom as well i'm going to put the chart in the link below so you can check it out yourself and monitor them and see what you can find in my charts as well now we look into avax avax performing beautifully looks all right just been range bound like we discussed most of the coins right now in range bound we can expect a big upside to be coming we did see a flip coming into uh, long positions as well on the macd but then straight away we started having pullbacks because this uh, volume also lacking a lot of profit taking is happening what i'm noticing right now regularly in most points is a lot of profit taking happening so that is also rising the fight in the market as well now we get into luna luna has been pretty sideways just into that range that we have discussed several times we did go up for a while to 97 dollars but then we just just been consolidating between 90 about five dollars range from 97 to 92 to 91 dollars we can still expect it to come down to these channels as well that we had drawn in previously so we can drag these channels if we want and probably we can expect these channels to work out for us pretty well but there's no certainty because again the volume here is very very bad compared to other coins the volume in luna is very very bad but it's good to see that luna is still still supporting itself and they are also considering to have a very big reserve of bitcoins so this is going to be something bullish for luna but overall we need to see something happening in order to be like all right this is now guaranteed and now we can be very very bullish for now we i am pretty happy because it's range bound now we will get into rune we can clearly see rune is having a good engulfing candle but then the volume is just not backing it right now even if you want to see macd and cypher right now macd has had a convergence because of the upside but whether it's going to do that in the next two hours and maintain this is going to be very very important for us to see so just have to monitor these coins right now even we have some coins that are performing really well but i want to just be very careful before ipping into everything we need to break in above 45,000 to feel very very bullish right now the good thing here is etfs are beginning to have long positions i hope so and now they won't be making us bring more fun into the markets by just shorting bitcoin non-stop and hopefully that will bring some upsides as well if you look into tech stocks as well they are performing really good everything is pretty much up right now we look into commodities commodities are in pullback so i think you are beginning to understand the relationship that one coin when commodities or tech stocks are up and down we see different kind of movement coming in different coins as well so that's all for today's video guys i hope you liked today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel we're gonna be back tomorrow for the nft show so hope to see you guys tomorrow take care guys bye bye